morning people <coughs> read a letter from um, child support agency <coughs> child maintenance services um, personal details request what is it yeah they're passing on personal details they won't tell me where my children are they take money from me they tell me that um, if I don't pay the money I'm liable um, legally and there will be repercussions um, they're not in contract with myself on um, let's have a look I sent to the Department of Work and Pensions a letter which has got contractual obligations in breaking contracts rescinding contracts um, there's lots in there and I've basically said incursion fee that was dated um, 7th of June, 7th of June 16, <clears throat> and they've written to me 27th of September. This letter wasn't as good as what it could have been. I know more now, and I can change it. I can add UCC 1-308. Um, I'm not compelled, you know, to perform under a contract and um, commercial agreement. I do not accept the limited liability of the benefit of contracts not revealed to myself. Um, of removing employed rights of access to the property, um, those agents therein, stealing, removal of the property. Um, my rights on my property, a class abuse of my rights, of abuse of my property, please find enclosed a copy of my affidavit to the court, statement of truth, I sent them. Also enclosed the notices on display and on the property, which is the uh, trespass sign, removed rights of access, removed implied rights of access and um, common law rules apply jurisdiction um, we've drawn all contracts with them told them there will be a charge of five thousand pound for incursions whatsoever on this letter dated if they want me to contract to them as my uh, as my fiction which is who they've addressed this recent letter to not to myself but they have put um, let's do this so you can see this is quite interesting what they've done there Mr. David Jeremita was Hanlon. My previous name was Hanlon on the new letter. And that's what I've put at the end of um, this letter. Yes, changed my name. So they've picked up on it. They've received it. They've filed it. So they can't say that um, they didn't get it. So it's going to be a quick call. Just to say we do not contract we do not consent they've um, had a letter the work and pensions but the people that have written me today are the child services child maintenance services but if you look at the bottom of the letter you'll see there that the child maintenance services is a part of the DWP Department for Work and Pensions which is whom David wrote to so we'll remain a stalemate for now they're going to put an attachment of earnings onto my wages I've written to my employer I've told them that I want to know the name of the person who's responsible for sending my money to the government in the instance of them receiving a notice to say that a liability order is coming from what I can see that they apply for our wages through a direct attachment of earnings DEA through a liability order issued by an admin court and um, what our employers get if you're in a big company not self-employed is a notice saying there's going to be a liability order issued there actually isn't one when they get the letter and it's up to them to decide whether or not to act on it they act on it and basically take our money with their own under their own um, steam under their own discretion they're not ordered to by the government and they give it to the government because they're requested to under legislation so we say under legislation we don't consent we don't contract we class it as theft the accounts are in dispute once an account's in dispute it's unlawful for people to take money from people um, a company to apply such as a private corporation the council the government the dwp tv banks anybody it's unlawful for them to take your money while your account's in dispute. So put your accounts in dispute, inform your employer, tell them that you don't consent, tell them you understand the legislation, write to the company themselves like I have, tell them that if they want you to contract and they're going to ignore it, <coughs> create um, acquiescence before the estoppel's created and stuff, you can actually um, 
to get them on the phone and say you'll contract with them for a fee and if they break the contract and there will be um, or they break the terms of the conditions there's an incursion fee so um, you've served them they know they're writing back to you now they've obviously written back to me 7th of June 27th of September June July August three months nearly four months later so we just have to be careful how we do this guys It's always 0345 as well to cream your money. Never make it cheap. Inclusive in your minutes. You're too easy, that. Too easy. Thank you for calling the child maintenance service. Please be aware that <coughs> this call may incur a charge. <laughs> you will be charged at the rate set by your service provider. Your call will be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes, or as evidence in court if needed. Evidence in court? Oh. We have made some changes to the following options. To ensure that your call is routed to the correct team, please listen to all of the options before making your choice. If you're a parent calling about an existing case, please press 1. If you're a parent calling about a letter you've received or have been asked to contact us, please press 2. If you're calling to make a new application, go for 1. To help me put your call to the. Whoops. The reference number you entered wasn't 12 digits long. What? Please check the number and re enter it now. Oh, here. Yeah. Reference. Thank you. Oh, just the number. Please hold while I transfer you to a member of our team. Hello, oh, can you say that again, please? You're very quiet. Yeah, so can I start with your name? My name is David. Have your surname? Um, no surname. My name is David Jason. I've just typed in a reference number from a letter what you've sent out to the address where I'm a resident. Have you got that reference to hand on the screen, or do you want me to repeat it for you? So I'll need you to repeat it for me. One, two... Let me just uh, get some light for you. Um, I don't have a date of birth, sir. Um, I was born in 1978. Um, I don't have a date of birth. Um, I have a certificate with a date of birth on, um, but that's not who's calling you now. That's um, that's my uh, straw man, my 2D legal fiction, my state-owned name. Um, I'm the layman of the person that's named on that um, on this letter. The layman means that um, I don't want to commit joined with you at this moment in time, and I don't want to enter into a contract of which is not given full disclosure to me at this point in time. So if I say I am the details of the uh, the 2D fiction that you've got on your computer screen, that connects me to that um, via lawful avenues. I've written a letter to the D DWP. I'll explain to the CEO of the DWP, and it was dated the 7th of the 6th, 2016. I included the reference number of the insurance, national insurance number, and in 04A <clears throat> for the fiction that you will have on your screen but um, <clears throat> I did say that there'll be an incursion fee of £5,000 for any incursion on the letter that I sent to the DWP in July in 7th of June now you've given me uh, a letter well my fiction a letter um, <clears throat> dated the 27th of September and it's a personal details request for the mother of the children um, I'm going to send you a letter in. I'd like you to make notes on this account in general terms. You don't need to disclose anything to me because I, as the layman for this um, legal fiction, um, will direct you as a public servant um, in this case because uh, you're a private corporation, but you're also, um, you know, the Department for Work and Pensions is a service created by man and requires contracts to claim authority over man. So for this case, 
the dad has rung up the living man david the father of the children yes and he is um in, instructing you guys that he will be writing a letter i'm placing this account in dispute i don't believe that this is correctly billed i don't believe that uh, law is being followed um <clears throat> the issue i've got sir with all of this why it started is i took you to a tribunal the child maintenance services a few years ago you incorrectly billed me over twelve thousand pounds and i um took a year to sort it out and under my own steam took you to a tribunal and then at tribunal i asked to see my children and with the address i asked for disclosure and under the data protection act this corporation that you work for the dwp or and or the child maintenance service would not give me disclosure of the data for my children so um i consider this harm injury and loss under common law and um, I didn't sign a contract with you guys either for this. So he was he was given the father's details by the mother. So as a living man, nobody can take my children away from me. But my government seems to have done that. So I'm putting the accounts in dispute. I am not um, Mr. David Jeremita was Hanlon. That is not me. That's on a birth certificate. So I don't know if you're familiar or au fait with all of this. These calls are recorded. So it will be a good training call for you, sir. But um, you're going to get a letter in from me again now for the child maintenance services if i am to agree to be the gentleman that you want me to be as a you know the 2d fiction i'll be charging you know a fee of a minimum of five thousand pounds and setting up a fee schedule to contract under these fraudulent administrative terms but i'm not willing to do that at this moment i'm going to remain um, a man you know as, uh, as ruled by common law and under god and the government and the child services are underneath man and that's the, the correct status of power i haven't broken the law and you are asking for monies from um, for, from me, which I'm putting. I put the account in dispute, so it does say that if I do not pay, you're going to go for an attachment of earnings. So this is why I'll send a letter into you. A letter has been sent to my employer, informing them that the account with this reference has been placed in dispute, and we've got to argue it out now. Um, not argue it out. That's the wrong word. We've got to make uh, you know dialogue in uh, respect of this, but. Unfortunately, the government and the systems don't don't like dialogue, and they just push it to the court. So, um, out of honour, I'm ringing up to give you as much details as I can, without contracting, and to inform you that the accounts in dispute I've written to the umbrella or sister company of this corporation, the CEO for the DWP, and um, that should be on file. And um, I will be returning a letter to you within the next seven days with um, with all this outlined on, and then we can proceed from there as as you guys see fit. So because obviously you're not willing to go through the security, I won't be able to discuss anything in regards to the case. But if you want to send in a letter in regards to the case, once you have that um, reference number attached to it, we will be able to go through that evidence and then contact you back on the number we have on the system. Yes, but this is what I mean. You're going to have to address me, the living man. I will be addressed as the natural man, David. In um, lawfully, I'm known as David, but legally, in situations like this, you, you need me to give you my um, full name and surname with a date of birth because that's what's on my birth certificate, which is the uh, the crown document, which is not me. You see, so this is where you, whether you know this or not, my good man, um, you are asking uh, every every man that rings up to speak to you to reference a case. When you ask those um, details at the beginning, that's to ascertain ID for data protection for you guys, but it also has a double-edged sword. It also connects the person on the phone um, legally, not lawfully, to contract with yourselves and take on liability. And these are these are really big issues because obviously, when I've been to court and had barristers and you know um, got, got a court writ to say I could see my kids, and then my, the mother moves house simply as much as that. The mother moved house. She didn't tell me because we wasn't on speaking terms, but obviously I'd like to see my children, which I class as my property. And this corporation that you work for, the CMS, Child Maintenance Services, has this on file. And you work for the man, which is the uh, the taxpayer, but you wouldn't disclose the data to me of that, which is my data, my property, my rights. And so the contract, as I see it, was broken therein. Um, not that I ever entered into one and not that you've got a credit or any kind of agreement for me with this contract, but... Um, I feel that um, I don't have to lawfully oblige, but legally um, I may do so if I consent and I do not consent. So therefore, you know, we'll uh, we'll write the letters in and we'll get the ball rolling. Uh, um, 
and we'll see where we end up. But I need to remain honourable and not ignore you and I don't wish to get an attachment of earnings. And if I do, I will be scrutinising the paperwork, I'll be needing the judge's name, I'll be needing the person who issues it, you know, the liability insurance of them. And I've also informed my workplace that if fraudulent administrative court documents are received, by my HR department and they are asked or instructed to give money to the government and I find out that the paperwork is not valid and it's um, pro due process or has not been followed in any way then I've informed my work that when I go to take civil or criminal procedures depending on which how we go for it um, if the if the documents aren't valid then the person that uh, my my HR will not have the, co the liability cover of their insurance and will be standing there as a man not backed by the company so um, I have some lawful training as you'll understand and um, I will uh, yeah, get in touch with you guys but I want to know the address to write to because I need it to go to the exact person that uh, you know that I need to put the address I don't know if it's the same as what you've given me here of how to where to put the correspondence Mitchell being the address of the address you have. Um, there's nothing on it. Yeah, P.O. Box 249, Mitch Eildon Way, GL 171 Alpha Juliet. Yeah, so that's the address you'd send it to. So as long as you have the reference number attached to that, we'll be able to attach it to your case. And the case worker will go through that. No problem, sir. Um, that's great. I'll be doing that forthwith. And... Um, I'll be putting that. Is there anybody's name I need to put on there or a particular department for things like no, no, this? No, I will get this get forward. As long as you have the reference number, I will get attached to your case and then the case worker will be able to see and go through the documents. Right, it's your case, you see. It's not my case. This is your case and your yeah, your reference. I don't have a reference, you see. These are, again, yeah. little... In, you, I don't need to bore you with this. But, right, you've been a great help. If you could put some notes saying that the father, the natural man, has called up. He didn't want a contract. He's not happy. He'll be getting in touch. He doesn't want a d d attachment of earnings. And... Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for your time, sir. No problem at all. Thank you for your call. All right, sir. Goodbye. That, I hope, when I listen back, <laughs> is done correctly. And how you inform a corporation, you are not a slave. You are not contracting. You are not happy. And shit's going to go downhill. Peace, love, and light, guys.